I'm here to talk about the Ellenville Collector's Office and Telegraph Office. This, uh, this mar marvelous little building was uh, built sometime before, by 1862. It replaced a collector's office that's on maps from 1854 that was between Lock 30 and the Dry Dock. But at some point, they built this slightly larger structure uh, a little further away from the canal. This has already moved. It was originally across the street somewhere, I think. I'll have to go look at some of the maps and figure it out. But in 1974, it was moved to this spot, um, the canal. We might as well, let's put it in, put it in uh, context over here. The canal was right over here. So we'll go down here and take a look. It holds a little water right here. This is the berm, so there wouldn't have been any towing done on this side. But that's very clearly the towing path over there and the prism going down there. This is property that my society owns right here. Uh, there's talk of putting a trail on it. I hope they do. We'd like to see a trail on it. But let's get back to this beautiful office. What do you say? So this, so this was a collector's office. They would collect tolls for the, for the uh, boats that weren't moving D&H coal. Probably only about, at the peak, three or, three or 400 boats in a season. But, uh, but that was substantial, you know, five figures uh, in, a, in a year in, in, in just in tolls alone. Let's walk around the building. So this was a toll collector's office, and in 1862, it also became their telegraph office. And I've said that uh, we had an oral history in High Falls that it was only a D&H telegraph, and that might have been true in the latter period. Undoubtedly it was. But in fact, these were public telegraph offices. In 1862, the D&H puts telegraph lines on its entire route, and um, you could come here and telegraph your loved ones, or your hated ones, whatever. And here they say the first full season was 1829, but in fact, uh, uh, in 1827, there was already, it opened in October of 28. 1827 it was fully watered from Port Jervis to, to Rondout. So this, this section was actually, uh, had, had activity on the canal as early as 1827. Nice sign there, you can read. Now let's, uh, but you see now, the really fun thing is that, uh, you see, the door is open. We can go inside. I've just helped one of the local historic preservation people here. Um, we wanted to secure the building. There are people have been getting into it. Um, but uh, we're going to make sure, between the village and the Canal Society, that this building is uh, celebrated, maintained, and hopefully it can be public, at least some of the time. Uh, and many of you, if you follow DNH TV, you know that we got the High Falls Telegraph Office and Collector's Office recently. Uh, so the D&H had, uh, I, you know, I don't have it memorized how many, how many they had. So let's go walk around here. You know, that, 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 uh, that brick fireplace, I'm no architectural historian, but that looks later than the period of the house. Um, although, well, you know, you, you never know. We don't know the exact date this was built. We just know it was after 1854, and we know that by 1862, it was, uh, it was here. It shows up on the 1875 Beers Atlas of Ulster, Ulster County, um, but that's even later, of course. Now, these are some later window seats that were put in, but they have some interesting storage, and I thought it'd be fun to show you Come on. Let's see if we can. I don't know when this date's from, but look at that beautiful. I mean, it seems almost like it's 20th century, doesn't it? It's kind of Art Nouveau kind of. But that's a, that's a little bit of um, wallpaper that had been on the walls at some point. Can, can you imagine this with that beautiful sort of floral throughout the whole walls? Wow. Now it's, uh, it's in pretty good shape. It needs a roof. Somebody's going to have to spend some money on it. Um, it could use a roof. Some of the windows have been broken. We're going to secure those. Um, there's some plexi storms, some of which have been removed, but uh, either the village or somebody from my organization will come take care of that. But I just thought it was a wonderful opportunity. I've been wanting to see the interior of this building since I knew it existed, 
And you know, I've just got God's own luck sometimes. I'm, here I am in February of 2022, able to actually show you around Ellenville's wonderful collector's office and, uh, and telegraph office. I'll have to do a whole telegraph collector's office series now for DNH TV. Stay tuned.